don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. Hi everyone, it's Mike here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So over the past few weeks, um, I've become sort of obsessed, if you like, um, or enamoured is probably a better word rather than obsessed, um, with um, a style of abstract drawing. It's a continuous line drawing. When you put pen down onto the paper and then just carry on going and try and draw a particular shape without taking your pen back off the paper again. Um, and I've kind of been really enjoying looking at some of these um, faces that people have done using this, this technique. And it's kind of, like I said, abstract. It's almost Picasso-esque, if you like, because the faces are kind of you know, not quite right, the eyes aren't aligned and the lips are out all over the place. And I thought today I would have a go at doing something similar myself and um, create a, a coloured background and then draw on top with that, trying to do a continuous line face, if you like. So let me turn over to my other camera and we'll just have a go. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to use one of the few remaining pages left in my Dina Wakely multi-surface journal. So we're going to work on this page here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab some paint. All right, so I want kind of a, a greenish creamy kind of palette. So I'm going to work on just having some light colours. So I've got pistachio mint. There's light buttermilk there, and I've got an olive green. Um, I might just throw in, just for good measure, a really kind of pale blue. What's that, Indian turquoise? Yeah, I think I think that probably. Or should we use slate grey instead? Yeah, let's keep it out just in case. I'm just wondering whether or not that morning mist might be work. Might be worth it. It's kind of like a hair. <coughs> A heathery kind of colour. Um, slight touch of purple in there I think so maybe yeah. Does that go better? No I'm gonna stick with the grey. Okay so <clears throat> right paint. So buttermilk, slate grey, pistachio mint and olive green. So I need some paint brushes and that will do, just one of those, just a smaller kind of flat brush will do, because I'm not going to be painting huge shapes with this, so we can get away with smaller brushes with a little bit more control, so a couple of filberts there and a couple of flatties, that'll probably do nicely. Okay, I need to go grab some water, so I'll be right back. I've got my water now, um, I've just put um, a little protective cover just over that previous page, um, also because it's kind of distracting while I'm trying to work on this one. Um, so I'm going to go for a the buttermilk first, so I'm just going to give that a bit of a shake. I have not gessoed the page, if you were wondering, mainly because I'm just going to work directly on top of it. So I'm going to add some of that buttermilk colour. Just as a kind of background. So that's just going to be off-white. Let's get rid of that lumpy, horrible burr. Bit of skin. And I know your camera might be picking this up, but yeah, I think it is. It's, it's quite subtle. So these kind of um, abstracty line drawings are um, very kind of mid-century, mid-century modern-ish, um, but done in a kind of very 20th century way, or 21st century way, if you like. Um, The ones that I've seen have obviously been done um, on a computer, so either drawn with a, a, a digital brush. 
So, yeah, so this will probably be just me trying to recreate that same kind of thing, but in paint and pen. Because for the line drawing, I will be using um, an indelible solvent pen. Um, it'll be a Sharpie, to be honest. I will be using a Sharpie. Right, so that's the first colour. I'm going to leave it kind of wet. Uh, and then I'm going to take my mint colour. And then I'm going to add just a touch of that onto this paint mat. And then I'm going to just kind of draw a circle. Perhaps I should have waited for it to dry. So I can always come back in a little while. In fact, actually, maybe I need to get my heat gun out. I have tidied it away. I don't know why, because it's probably one of the most frequently used tools that I have in my arsenal, if you like. Just plug that in. That's better. Right, here we go. Yeah, I didn't take long, did it? Right, so now that that's dry, probably get a bit more kind of colour rendition at this. So I started off with a circle but I'm just going to extend it now because I want to go maybe seeing as we're doing a bit more kind of mid-century-ish let's have a bit more of like a kidney shape. Yeah, kind of like that. It is a fairly lightish colour as well, so I'm not going in your face with this. I don't want it to be too stark. So I'm looking at that olive green now thinking, mm, is that going to be too dark for me now? I might just have to mix a little bit of the olive with a little bit of the buttermilk just to kind of dial it down a little bit. Let's see, let's see what we got. Yeah, it's not, not that bright to be honest. But, still, let's just dial it down a tad. So, take a little bit of the, yeah, that's probably better. And that sh should just be enough for what I want to do. So I'm going to kind of mirror that um, that shape that we've just done there. Kind of create that kind of kidney shape. You can tell when I start thinking, Katie, because I stopped talking. Um, yeah, we'll try and do that kind of kidney shape down at the bottom here. Might have to just switch brushes a little bit just to get a little bit more finesse, if you like. I can look a bit over, over that way. I might have to mix a little bit more. That'll do. Okay. Let's take some from the brush. There we go, let's rounded that off a little bit. I 
there we go, sharpened up those lines a little bit. So I've obviously put far too much of that paint down. Well, that's okay, just wash this off in a bit. Just clean that small filbert brush. And that flat one, I think I'm going to just stick with that small filbert now. So let me just quickly rinse that brush off. There we go. And I think I'm going to use that heather now. And I'm just going to put two smaller kind of, it's not heather is it, it's the slate grey. So let me just grab some of that buttermilk and then just mix a little bit of that slate grey don't mind if there's a tiny tiny touch of the green in it just turns it in if that's the case limited palette that's kind of what we're going for aren't we just with these few colours and if you mix in tones from one paint to the other it does kind of help just to bring it all together. Okay, so let's have a little grey kind of circle there. This isn't quite as opaque as I thought it was going to be. Well, that's okay. And then we'll have a mirrored one kind of over here. Right, let me just give a blast with the heat gun and then I can go back over and give that a second layer. Okay, didn't take long. Just a second coat, just like if you were doing a wall. <laughs> just helps. Just to consolidate the colours. That'll do. Pretty simple, really. Just a couple of abstract shapes. Just kind of helps to bring it all together. Okay, let me get rid of that paint mat. Out the way a second. And I just realised I'd forgotten to turn the camera on at a crucial moment. Right, so what I'm doing, I'm just kind of very lightly kind of going over or tracing a line, which is where I want to go with my pen. I did it really kind of lightly just to make sure that I kind of knew where I was going, where it was going to fit. Um, I kind of painted myself into a corner because I can't do a full kind of um, continuous line. I am going to have to do a few breaks because I'm just obviously not all that experienced at doing continuous line drawings. Um, I haven't done enough of them just yet to be completely you know, au fait with where I need to stop and where I need to go to kind of carry it on. So I'm just kind of experimenting, trying to kind of get the right kind of line down. But I think I know where I'm going. So like I said, I'm going to use the Sharpie next. So, and it's a, it says fine point, but do you know what? I don't know whether it is fine point. It might be a bit too clunky. So I'm going to try and keep the point down as far as I can. So here goes nothing. So 
you, you do kind of have to take your pen off the paper just to kind of maneuver it really because otherwise you can't really <laughs> move your paper around, your book around. And I suppose it really ought to be a bit more fluid than this. There we go. So you've got to kind of turn. If you don't keep the point of your pen kind of centered, it just you tend to lose a little bit of the thickness. So Finish off ha. There we go. <laughs> Me likey. That's not bad actually for a first sort of attempt. Now obviously I haven't just done this off my own back. I have looked at reference materials, other kind of um, images on the internet for these continuous line um, abstract drawings, just to kind of work out, you know, the sort of shapes and kind of things that look good. And obviously there's two sets of mouths there and, and it just kind of looks like, so that, that's kind of like one face, whereas that's another. So it is kind of a bit weird and a bit odd, but I kind of like that. So what I couldn't do now is I can add, if I want to, I'm not going to add any outlines to the, the shapes. I'm just going to leave those as they are. Um, but what I could do is I could add some journaling now along some of these lines, just to add a few words um, with a pen. Let me see if I've got my... Is that my gel pen? Spare paper over here. Yeah, so that's probably going to be. So I can add some gel. I have to make sure that that Sharpie pen is drying on. Okay, so let's do the journaling on the inside of the line. So, but it's going to be um, kind of fluidy kind of writing. So almost like I'm trying, well, I'll try and do it all joined up because continuous line, why not? So. Just try that bit. I've dried it because I didn't really want to smudge it. I'm 
going to finish off my sentence going up this way. There we go. <laughs> Some days it's easy to get totally strung out. <laughs> so that's it. I'm happy with that as a first attempt for a bit of an abstract page. So I'm just going to sign it and date it. Today's date is what? It's the 12th of November. There you go. So continuous abstract line art. There's a new one if you haven't know, if you haven't seen it before. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me create this um, kind of. I know it's basic, but not all art journal pages have to be completely. Um, you know, every page, or every inch on the page covered. You know, sometimes white space and clean space is just as effective. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me create this art journal page. If you have, please remember to give the video a thumbs up because it really does help other people find my channel. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all for me for now. I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. And don't forget you can access your exclusive angel-only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.